Hello, I'm W2L11 at Chief Meteorologist Chris Vickers. We continue to prepare you for what you need to know about the total solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024. In the next few moments, I will take you through the top three things to know about the upcoming total solar eclipse and an idea of what that total solar eclipse may look like. It is going to be our goal to inform educate and prepare you for that total solar eclipse. Now we've already taken a deep look into answering the question of what is a total solar eclipse? You can see more on WTOL.com, our WTOL 11 YouTube page, and on WTOL 11 Plus. But let's take one more look at exactly what it will look like. A total solar eclipse happens when the moon passes in between the sun and the earth. Now, at that point, it is completely blocking the face of the sun. The umbra is where the shadow is complete. A total eclipse of the sun. Now the width of that shadow on the face of the earth is very, very narrow. Only about 110 miles wide as it passes directly over northern Ohio. The outer shadow or circle is called the penumbra. That shows the extent of the partial eclipse. We'll have more on WTOL11.com, WTOL11 Plus, and on our YouTube page about what a total solar eclipse is. Now let's get into the three things that you need to know as you get prepared for the upcoming total solar eclipse. The path of totality, it is everything when it comes to a solar eclipse. It is where the moon shadow, as we described, the umbra is complete. The sun at this point is 100% eclipsed. This last happened in Ohio in 1806. The next total solar eclipse in Ohio is going to be in the year 2099. It is safe to say that this may be a once in a lifetime opportunity for you to be within the path of totality and view the total solar eclipse. Next up with the path of totality, that path of totality is very narrow across the face of the earth. It is just over 110 miles across as it makes its way through northern Ohio. The time in totality, while it will vary significantly from location to location, is on average just less than three minutes. Now our capital here in northwest Ohio of the longest time in totality is going to be Forest, Ohio at three minutes and 56 seconds. We have a detailed breakdown on W2L11.com, our YouTube page, and on W2L11 Plus detailing many cities here in northwest Ohio and exactly how long the totality is and when that max eclipse will begin. Totality or 100% eclipse means everything. It is the difference between seeing the sun's corona and missing out entirely on what a once, once in a lifetime opportunity. The sky at this time during totality will darken. It will almost appear like early dawn or late dusk. The stars and planets may actually be visible for a certain time. Unusual things may happen. Street lights may come on. Headlights may come on in the darkness and even perhaps unusual things like animals acting differently. We'll have more with meteorologist John Birchfield on how pets and wildlife may react to the unusual nature of a total solar eclipse. Number two, it is going to be the spectacle of the decade, a once in a lifetime opportunity. The reason why that lure of totality will bring millions of visitors to the path of totality. That path of totality will make its way across the United States on the afternoon of April 8th, 2024. Now, major impacts could be expected to our schools, many of which have already scheduled that day off of school, businesses, travel and leisure, perhaps even days before, during and days after the total solar eclipse. Be prepared that week for major disruptions and it to be the spectacle of the decade. The number one thing that you will be able to see during the total solar eclipse that you need to be prepared for, a view of the sun's corona. And again, this could be a once in a lifetime to view the solar corona. Now, what is the corona? It is the outermost part of the sun's atmosphere. Typically, this can never be seen without very specialized instrumentation. And when we see a total solar eclipse, it is an opportunity for us with our very eyes to remove our solar glasses only during totality and actually have an opportunity to peer up and view the sun's corona. 
Now it is mainly composed of plasma, which is very hot ionized gases. The view of the sun's corona is exceptionally rare. It can only be seen for a few short minutes during the path of totality. For many areas across northern Ohio, that may only range from about two and a half minutes to three minutes and some areas up to about three and a half or close to four minutes. It is millions of times less dense, the corona itself, and hundreds of times hotter than the sun itself. So the solar corona is a very, very light mixture of plasma and light gases that is hundreds of times hotter than the surface of the sun itself. So let's break down what that may actually look like during totality. The moon at this point again is completely blocking the face of the sun. We call this 100% eclipsed. We are not able to see any of the direct solar rays, but from around there, we have a good view of the sun's corona. That sun's corona will glow around the disk of the moon. It is 10 million times less dense than the sun itself. And at this time, it will be an opportunity for our very eyes to be able to see the coronal loops, streamers, and plumes that may emanate from the sun and the solar magnetic field. As I mentioned, it is an extremely hot outer portion of the sun's atmosphere. Uh, scientists speculate on reasons why the corona is so hot, and that does beg the question, why is the corona so hot? Many experts suspect that eruptions from the sun called heat bombs could possibly explain why the outer atmosphere of the sun itself is hotter than the actual surface of the sun. Another possible explanation is something called solar tornadoes. Could you imagine that? Those are giant vertical spirals of plasma interacting with the sun's magnetic field. Something that would be incredible to see with our very own eyes. It can be only seen during the time of totality, your opportunity to view the sun's corona. Our coverage of the total solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024 will continue. We hope to keep you updated educated and informed. Stay with us at the W2L 11 weather team and please be sure to check out all we have available for you on W2L.com, W2L 11 plus and on our YouTube page.